everybody saw that video that said face app where people would get um irrevocable rights to use my face anywhere and i'm like okay go ahead for it go for it i'm gonna I, the face app is so much fun that even if it did take your your uh, face and put it somewhere else um they have license to and they will probably do it whenever i get to be really popular and then i'll be like hey there are plenty of people out there with uh, with um, uh, FaceLab, which is an application that allows, allows you to take any celebrity or anybody, and if you have enough photos of them, you can develop a model for faking their face, you know, and they could do it, and there would be no, I mean, all this is saying is, is saying that I couldn't hold them to court and say, well, you put my face on somebody else's. There's also a website that's that um, they claim is it's something like this person's face doesn't exist. And they could use that. And they could probably use algorithms to generate faces of people that don't exist. Thing is, is I'm never going to be a celebrity. And even if I do become a celebrity, people are going to realize if I tell them this, that I'm never going to sell my services as a celebrity. I'm not going to side with anybody. And if people use my face, it's probably because I made my face a uh, public domain face. I'll probably put it in an open source. I'll put my face. And that will permit everybody to use it. And it will make the use of my face kind of pointless. Because everybody knows that if they see my face uh, demonstrating any kind of product online that I've already sold my face. And the thing is, is that, whoo, did I just cut this thing off? Ooh, that's bad. Now it's going to bleed. So it's a, what do you call them? It's a blood blister or something like that. The thing is, is that, um, did I just bleed myself? It doesn't bother me what they're saying about FaceApp. It's artificial intelligence. And uh, the guy had another video he was putting up. And it was going to be public. And then he took it down. And so I'm starting to wonder. I'm going to go and get myself a Band-Aid. Hold on a second. It's a great way for, uh, let's see, put, bing, stick it there, let's see, uh -huh. I could have done this in the mirror, there we go, I think I got it. Thing is, is that, um, I don't think they're collecting this information all the time, but even if they did, they could just take it from my videos. They could pump these videos that I've got into a thing called Face Lab and, uh, and get my face and uh, train the, um, the Face Lab deep, deep faking algorithm or whatever. Um, it uses this thing called a GAN, um, which is some sort of configuration of neural nets. And what they do is they just take your face and whoever it is they want to fake, or whoever, who you know, either way, they take their face and your face, and they have the thing programmed to, to map their face to your face, 
and then they go and they make a video of themselves and they run it through their algorithm and it turns their face into my face and so then they have a video of me which is not me but it's them saying stuff and it's putting in my mouth. The other thing they could do is they could also uh, use this to pr produce a synthetic me and have me saying things. But the problem is, is that um, it breaks down and um, it won't be true for everything. And if you did high resolution versions, which you'll realize my video is not all that high resolution, um, they would have to collect a lot of high resolution photos of me. They probably could from, from, uh, but the thing is, is I'm not one of those guys who goes around and takes selfies all the time. I guess this is bad enough, but. I just never have been that enamored by my face or the way I look. And so I don't spend a whole lot of time taking photos of myself to show my friends. I just do these videos. And these are public enough and people could use this to, to fake my face. Um, I have said that if you had a terabyte of data, um, you could collect enough information to recognize somebody's face and stuff that in there with a profile of a complete uh, information about what they know about that person in all of his relations and then set that up for pretty much 333 million people stick it in a one terabyte data database that's offline any spy could come anywhere into America and pretend to be anybody with one terabyte of data it's completely possible the government should know about this and everybody should know about that but the thing is is that they're so afraid of uh, the little fry programs that like face app that are just collecting facial data which they could collect from the internet from videos like this and do the same deep faking idea and synthetic uh, facial stuff and the thing is, is that you can't um, trust that what you see anymore, and it's because of deep faking, um, uh, deep learning AI, and uh, I think it's it's perfectly okay that that Satan can prevent people from using the app or ever learning about the current technology by putting up this video that claims that. The Russians are going to use it to collect information about your face. If that's if that's the idea, Satan, about trying to prevent people from ever realizing what can be done, go for it, you know, because, uh, you know, there's still a lot of friggin' ignorant people out there that don't understand what they're doing here is they're, um, they're um, developing an AI. And uh, that AI doesn't even need my face. It could use anybody's face. What they're doing is they're collecting together all of the various um, effects of what what they need is they need to see a history of your face, like how your face went from being a younger version of you to an older version of you, and it's putting that into an algorithm to determine how faces age over time. And as the AI learns about that with different kinds of face, it can apply that AI to other faces. When you present a photo, it's going to have a much better idea of how the faces could age over time by looking at databases of people's faces over time. So it requires that it has access to a database like yours. And what they're really saying is they're saying that they're not going to use your face or they might have to use your face, but the idea is, is that they're using your face to, um, the AI is actually learning your face. It's not going to take photos of your face and use them anywhere. What it's going to do is it's going to use your likeness to um, inspire the aging or the, or the, or trying to take someone's face and de-age them by, um, using what it knows about your face and other people's faces in terms of it aging and they're creating they're creating an algorithm is what they're doing they're creating an algorithm 
that can age or down age people's faces. And the more faces that it comes across through this application, the more accurate it will be in being able to age or de-age people's faces. Um, it works really well and it's a whole lot of fun. And I don't have any problem with using it because most of the faces that I use it on and most of the faces that I've got in my database are other people's faces from Google that I've collected photos from. I don't usually put my own family photos up there. You will have seen that I did have some family photos in there, but I but it's just of my father and um, my niece, and it's just from the side, and I don't have any other photos of my father in my library of things. I probably have in my Facebook, if the Face app guys got access to the Facebook photos, they'd be able to collect a lot more. But it's possible that Facebook's already doing this with Facebook. And so, you know, Facebook is going to have a much better capacity to do that sort of thing. And actually, FaceApp probably uses Facebook anyhow to collect this information. But that's what's necessary for them to make it work is that they have to collect a complete a span of time of different people's faces. And the more it learns, the better it's going to be able to age a person's face based upon the way they look. It'll take a number of other people who look very similar, and then it'll look at those other people's youthful versions, and then it'll use that to find some morphological version of that face that you're presenting and it collects more information is able to learn um, how faces age and that could be useful for some other purpose that is not so bad uh, the thing about advertisements to realize is they're going away and the, and the thing is is that nobody cares about advertisements they want to get rid of them all together and my website's an example. And people need to realize that when you put advertisements in your content, it's annoying the fuck out of the people that are watching. And they're, and they're probably going to associate with your organization that are a bunch of cheapskates that put a lot of advertisements in their videos in order to make money. And so, that's the case. Uh, I'll just leave this video here, but uh, that that at least describes to you the reason why they would want to have irrevocable um, license to use your face is that they're using it to train their AI in how to age a person's face to make their algorithm more accurate. Otherwise, it would be very difficult for them to do what they're doing, and it's possible the case that they're not going to use it in an advertisement in Russia. And these guys constructed this thing that said it was from Russia and it was for the Russians. I mean, the video that's going around that's like the most popular thing you get when you search on YouTube is that it's being used by Russians and it's being used for advertisements. And the, probably the reason why they are asking for irrevocable license to use your face or... Uh, is is so that they can use it to train their database to train their it's not their database train their AI and their AI is using that to figure out how to age other people's faces